Hello, this is Chris for Ratworks, and for those that uh, enjoy the Steyr AUG bullpup rifle, you know that it's a wonderful platform, and you know that it's also a little bit on the loud side. So for those that uh, wish, wish to go through the paperwork and get a suppressor mounted on it, here's one from Ratworks that eliminates that first round pop that we're so familiar with. Also includes a uh, different gas system for the AUG, and uh, we're going to show you how to install it here momentarily. Uh, so if you have any questions on it or wish to purchase one, have any details that you wish explained, by all means give us a call and uh, we'll take a look now and see how it's put on. Start with our Steyr AUG, we'll dismount the barrel and uh, by all means do avail yourself of a soft jaw set uh, of vise, set the rest of the gun down out of the way in order to remove the flash suppressor. So you'll need two three quarter inch wrenches as shown here. And a, a barrel vise with soft jaws. We'll go ahead and spin off the parts. And the suppressor retaining nut will be installed. The anti-seize must be placed on the threads of the barrel. So please don't forget that. And then the uh, original factory parts here, the gas piston, piston spring, and the regulator are to be removed. The spring is not needed. Most of the military Steyr AUGs do not even have a spring there. Uh, it's just in the commercial AUGs that they install them. So they're not needed. Rifle operation will place the piston back in its proper position. Uh, next, the uh, replacement piston has a thick stem at the head. That stem should be covered with the anti-seize and then installed in the gas cylinder. And then also you have the gas cylinders, the rest of the gas system here. Move the retaining screw and uh, the area that it sits inside the cylinder, that all must also be anti-seized. Give it a good coat. And then installed, turned, and then the retaining screw installed. And we'll use the provided Allen wrench to make sure it's installed in place. Now, the gas system includes three total parts. The piston, which we already looked at, the gas cylinder, and the extension. The extension and the cylinder in which it rides in the gas system cylinder must also be anti-seized to make uh, removal later more easily done. Uh, as well, the threads here beside the threads on the muzzle also will be coated in anti-seize, again, for ease of uh, service later. Then install the uh, suppressor, it threads right onto the barrel. And you thread the suppressor all the way down into the threads and then back it off until it just lines up with the uh, gas system. And it's extended forward the suppressor and thread it into place. For that you'll need a 5 16th inch wrench, which I have right here. It's threaded into place until it's snug. And there your uh, suppressor is installed and ready to take to the range and shoot with the exception of the retaining nut, which also must be Snug down, again that same three quarter inch wrench that you used to replace the return, move the flash hider is used for snugging that uh, lock nut in place. And we are now ready to shoot. So if you have any questions or any comments, by all means give us a call. If there's any problem, give us a ring 815-734-7346 and we'll be glad to help you or if you're interested in purchasing one of the suppressors by all means do give us a call and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you much for watching.